Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about this new Hada Labo HA Supreme Vita Serum Brightening Concentrate. I think this is in the category of serum. They're definitely not essence. Too thick to be an essence. I believe these serums are really, really new by Hada Labo. They just launched recently and they sent me one bottle. Unfortunately, among all the other types and variants that they have, they decided to send me a Vita. From what I know, if I'm not mistaken, they do have two other ones that definitely will be more suited for the type of skincare concerns that I have. One is the Chica one. Chica is supposed to be more of like a healing property, you know, help to reduce inflammation, help to reduce redness, help to kind of soothe your skin. So that will be a nice one to have. Or even the other one, even better, the Sarah one. Sarah is, I believe, representing ceramide, and ceramide is amazing for my skin type because it's supposed to be more of a barrier protection, skin protection kind of skincare ingredient. <sighs> Could have used any of the other two, but they decided to give me Vita, which is very unfortunate because vitamin has always been the ingredient that's supposed to help with brightening and whitening. It's not my thing. I think if you have been here for a while now, I am generally not a brightening, whitening. I mean, I really don't need it. My skin concern is really redness, something to help like calm the skin down, reduce redness and things like that, which is chica is amazing. And also also because I have like sensitive eczema sort of skin, ceramide or cera would have been amazing as well because it helps to protect my skin by giving it a, a barrier. What is HA Supreme? Hada Labo HA Supreme Concentrate Range is formulated with combination of different types of hyaluronic acid and special potent ingredients for its synergistic effect on various skin problems. So I believe the four types of hyaluronic acid definitely ensures that your surface layer is also moisturized but at the same time also it penetrates deep into the skin to ensure every layer of your epidermis or not even epidermis every layer of your skin basically are properly and thoroughly moisturized so that's why uh, Hada Labo is really good with their hyaluronic acid game anyway i didn't use much of this because as i mentioned whitening is not quite for me and even just vitamins in general my skin don't really sit very well with vitamins focus or specific sort of skincare it just somehow kind of irritates my skin just makes it feels like ugh. according to the press release they actually do say that they do have vitamin b12 here back then right if you see any skincare product that's meant for brightening they're usually very very drying but these days they're a little bit smarter they always add hydrating ingredients into the skincare so that your skin will not scream from dryness okay because i'm not an expert in brightening products what i can only tell you is you know how it feels how it smells like and and overall, when it comes to hydration wise, do they actually help to keep your skin hydrated even though it has like brightening ingredients in here. Anyway, let's start with the packaging first. Packaging is absolutely gorgeous. For a Hada Labo product, this packaging is definitely way above what I expected it to be. It has a very luxurious feel, it has a very luxurious grip as well. The frosted glass sort of look and that dropper makes it more hygienic. I just think that overall packaging is amazing. They're pretty much on par with a pretty more expensive serum. This is the Trilogy. It's like more of an all natural and organic sort of skincare. Their price points are very very high. Comparatively, I think Hada Labo did a really really good job. Looking at the Chica and also the Sarah variant, I believe they also have the same sort of packaging as this Vita one. Dropper is actually pretty good. I think it's pretty decent. It pumps up a good amount of serum if you have bigger face then you might need maybe like one and a half pumps uh, if you have smaller face then maybe a full you don't even need a full pump basically let's talk about the Hada Labo HA Supreme Vita this one is a brightening concentrate that is enriched with vitamin to brighten skin tone it's supposed to be a deep hydration and whitening care sort of serum it is enriched with four types of hyaluronic acid that provides intense moisture added with vitamin for clear and translucent skin it has a lightweight texture that is fast absorbing and delivers 
to concentrate deep into skin layers. After lotion, apply evenly on the face and neck with adequate amount. For me, what I like about this is that it has no smell at all. Yeah, they do not have fragrance in here, which is absolutely great. I love skincare products that do not have fragrance in there. Let me just give you sort of a comparison. This is the Hada Labo lotion that I have. The consistency of this HA Supreme Wida is definitely a little bit thicker than the original Hada Labo lotion. When I apply it on, this serum definitely feels very lightweight and it definitely feels like it absorbs into the skin really easily but at the same time it definitely does feel like it hydrates the skin not just on the surface layer but also kind of penetrate deep into the skin due to its four types of hyaluronic acid I definitely do think that this is a really nice hydrating product for a brightening skincare i would think so of course because this is a serum it's not meant for you to use it alone you should still top up with a moisturizer for a dry skin person this is definitely not enough but i do think that if your concern is dull skin and you want a brightening skincare for your dry ass skin then this is actually a really good option because of it hydrating properties in here it definitely feels very very lightweight on the skin it doesn't feel sticky at all like the hydrating lotion but it definitely does feel like it leaves a sort of layer on the surface of the skin it's not a bad thing for like normal to dry skin type people of course oily skin type people still need hydration as well but i feel like if you don't like that sort of layer on the surface of the skin then this is definitely not for you yeah oily skin type people just go and find other stuff that has niacinamide in there and also vitamin b12 okay other than that also if you have the hydrating lotion hada labo hydrating lotion this too actually pairs up really really well specifically for normal to dry skin type or specifically for dry skin type this too definitely is a really really nice combination hydrating lotion apply it on it kind of preps your skin make your skin very very moisturized and hydrated then you kind of apply this on top and then after that you kind of finish it off with a thin layer of moisturizer you are pretty much good to go to bed basically this this combination plus a moisturizer like a, a cream sort of moisturizer that helps to kind of lock everything in place is definitely a very very nice combination you will wake up feeling good when it comes to brightening i don't know if it brightens up the skin or not but it does have niacinamide and b12 in there so definitely need to use it long term to be able to see the difference but overall as a like a brightening sort of uh, serum i think this is pretty suitable for people with normal to dry skin type looking at the press release this serum is super dirt expensive one bottle of this has 30 ml here and this serum is 89 ringgit per bottle that's crazy jeez okay so yeah that's pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoy i hope you learned something i'll see you guys in my next video bye don't forget to like and subscribe